Hello everybody. This evening I'm working on a couple of clocks. They both suffered from the uh, batteries leaking and ruining the mechanisms. This one up here is next. I will uh, see if we can see some parts here. Yeah, here it is. I tried to repair it, but it was just too far gone. So I ended up getting one of these snap-in mechanisms and a uh, continuous sweep second hand, as you can see here. It's a little noisier than I'd like it to be, but I think when it's back in the case, it'll be okay. This I had trouble getting to work and put it, just put it all back together and kind of slammed this rotating piece down in disgust and it actually started working so hopefully that stays the case. I got some corrosion off of it as well but I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this clock and see what it looks like when it's reassembled. Lucky I didn't break that. <clears throat> that would have been no good. Fingerprints off. Okay, next will be the clock movement. And the back of the clock was missing the cover plate for the battery. It was missing when I got it, so that's just the way it is. And there that one is, ready to go back into service. that one. Now I'll start on the wall clock for the workshop. And this one has a snap-in movement as well. So I got two of them. second one going into this clock. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, I had to do a little trimming to get that hour hand on. See if I have to do the same thing for the minute hand. Okay, that one went on no problem. Make sure there's good clearance now. Oh yeah, that'll work. Let me try the second hand. And that also went on. No problem, so. Yeah, this mechanism suffered the same fate as the other one. So now I'll find a good battery and see if it'll work. And I also attempted repairs on this one and 0 for 2 on repairs, so I bought up two mechanisms and we're just going to start over. Okay, now to find a good battery. One point three six, that's marginal. Point four nine eight, that was no good. That was just completely dead. Point five one nine, that's no good. One volt. And 1.42, so we're going to go with that one. It's the highest out of the pile of batteries. See if this thing will go. And that one's going as well. Okay, so now I have two repaired clocks, and that is awesome. So that's repairing two quartz movement clocks. This one's probably from the 70s, late 70s, and have no idea when this one was made. Uh, there was a let's see I don't know if that's the date code of it or not one two eight four I don't think it's that old but it sure enough could be because one if I can find it again one thing that really stood out to me made in USA so it's definitely a possibility it could be from 1984 but it wasn't around here in 1984 that's for sure oh it says made in USA there too this one Seiko in Japan quartz so, yep, yeah, two clocks done and back in service. Thanks for watching.